Let's have a look at the new mannequin, user interface, and kinematic drag functionality. We'll start by adding a new mannequin to this scene by simply placing it on the top datum plane, which is the floor in this scene. Without actually the need of positioning it as before, you can simply go to the mannequin Activate it from the mannequin tree and now drag it in the position plane as you like. You can move it in the plane and rotate it in the correct position. The same will work if you have put it in a sitting posture. The mannequin tree has been enhanced now showing the mannequin constraints, new mannequin icons, body parts, right mouse button control, and of course interaction with the graphics screen. There are new icons and glyphs indicating locked, partially locked and unlocked, as well as fixed or constrained glyphs. You can make snapshots from the mannequin tree. These snapshots can be activated, applied, updated, and with right mouse button control, you can rename, delete, repair, or reconnect. By selecting the constraints in the mannequin tree, these are highlighted in the graphics. Selecting a mannequin body part brings now the new 3D dragger, allowing you to perform both forward as well as inverse kinematic operations. You can drag the arcs, drag along the arrows, or pick the planar movement or the sphere for 3D movement. When you right mouse button on the 3D dragger, you can reorient it into different positions using different references, reorienting it to the screen, dragging it in those directions, or reorient it to other geometry, like the edge of this ladder. By then dragging along the arrow, it will actually move along the selected line or perpendicular to this line, as in the example. Resetting it to its normal orientation obviously brings you back to where you were before. The model tree can be expanded in the bottom section of the mannequin tree. Let's now make a new reach constraint or reach operation actually because you have the option to create a constraint or do it without constraint. You can select the body part or the point as before. Right? Selecting different body parts will go to the default points that belong to those parts. Picking the target will create the reach constraint by default, but you have the option to perform the operation without creating the constraint. When a constraint is created, it's added to the list in the mannequin tree, where you have control via left mouse button and right mouse button actions. You can pick different points, and when the target point is too far away, and the reach can actually not get to that selected point, a missing dimension is indicated. The reach is still performed as far as possible, and the dimension indicates the missing distance.
by creating a snapshot with a constraint it is kept within the snapshot as well as the position in the scene switching between snapshots will reactivate those constraints with a reach constraint active dragging on the sphere you see that the hand will move in a specific orientation using shift and the sphere will actually keep the hand static to the arm using the sphere without shift will leave the hand free and the hand is purely an example of course this works for other body parts as well Let's reposition it into a little bit different position in the scene and perform another reach operation. Creating a new snapshot will capture this position as well as the constraint. Switching between snapshots, as mentioned, will now go back to the previous orientation and the previous set of constraints. By default, the feet have a constraint applied. You can remove this from the constraint section so you can drag the leg, put the leg in a specific orientation, preparing it to put the foot on the step. As you can see, you have different ways of getting to that specific posture, dragging the arrows, rotating around the circles, and of course you can place the foot in its correct position but you can also use the reach constraint on any of these points also on the feet points and constraining in this case the forefoot onto the step this will add the foot reach constraint into the constraint list if you now try to drag it, you see that the forefoot is fixed with that constraint. We can disable that constraint, which will obviously free up the foot. And we can now also fix a mannequin body part. By adding a fixed constraint, the selected component is frozen in X, Y and Z position and cannot be moved. By trying to drag the leg you see the difference where before we had only the forefoot constraint with the fixed constraint of the hind foot nothing can move in that respect. Removing the fix and going back enabling the forefoot brings us back to the original position. Besides the reach constraint, we can also add a look at constraint. Similar to reach, you pick the target and the mannequin will look in that direction with the option to create a constraint or purely perform a, an operation. After positioning it and adding the constraint, you still have some freedom in reorienting the head as long as the reach constraint can still be applied. Let's insert another mannequin that is clearly of a different size. In this case we add a smaller mannequin put him on the same floor, top datum plane and then move him by selecting the mannequin from the mannequin tree and moving him roughly in the same position as the taller mannequin.
we can obviously now create snapshots. But let's add another reach constraint, having the taller mannequin hold the ladder on both sides. Once the two reach constraints have been applied, we can actually copy the constraints and posture from the taller mannequin onto the shorter mannequin and notice that there is clearly a difference and potentially the shorter mannequin might not be able to reach the exact same points. This way you can perform your ergonomic studies. We click Copy, Posture and Constraint from the mannequin tree and then paste them onto the new mannequin with the right mouse button control. By now hiding the taller mannequin, we can clearly see the result. As you notice, the left hand cannot reach the ladder in this posture. But we have an option to relax one of the back body parts. By selecting his back and unlocking one of the degree of freedom, potentially he can bend forward a little bit to actually reach that specific point on the ladder. With right mouse button control on the 3D dragger, you have the option to unlock that specific degree of freedom and allows us to rotate. So if we now redefine that specific reach constraint, it can actually get to the selected point because that degree of freedom was opened up. If we prefer, we can now go back and lock it again, fixing his back as before. And this covers the new functionality that we've added to Mannequin and his user interface.